Hi, it's Leslie Meredith with Break Bulk Events and Media. I'm here in Bremen at Break Bulk Europe, and I am joined by Shigar from JSL Global. Welcome. Thank you very much. So nice to have you here. Tell us a little bit about your company. Basically, JSL Global is a Qatar-based uh, company. Uh, the group is part of Jasim Customs. Uh, it's uh, established since 1978. We are in Qatar. Head office is in Qatar. Basically, our company main focus is project logistics, uh, chemical logistics, and cold chain management in Qatar. Excellent. All right. So, um, tell us the kinds of projects that you're involved in in Qatar. You've come a long way. Yes. We're happy that you have. Thank you very much for that. Basically, our company is more focused on rail project like the Doha Metro, because you, uh, everybody knows that you know Qatar is going to host uh, FIFA World Cup 2022. So Qatar is more focused on the infrastructure projects since last one decade. And basically, our company is focusing on metro projects like, like uh, Qatar Rail. We are doing some job for stadiums as well in Qatar. That is so exciting. How many visitors do you expect? Sorry, I didn't. Uh, you meant to say for the yes. FIFA World Cup. Yes. Uh, we are talking uh, total 12 stadiums. Nine of them will be totally new built, uh, out of, and three will be renovated. So you can say each maybe around 40 to 50 thousand uh, capacity. So you can calculate what type of uh, audience we are expecting just for football, and of course the visitors and other uh, uh, people coming for this event, big event in 2022. Um, now, Qatar has been under a blockade for almost a year. How has that affected your business and Qatar shipping in general? Okay, I was expecting a question, this question. Basically, Qatar is going through this blockade since last one year. Uh, I'm basically from India and settled in Qatar for last 12 years. I would say that, you know, Qatar uh, government, Qatar uh, full population has handled this uh, matter in a totally positive manner. Means, of course, it has affected us, but, you know, if you're looking at the logistics front or heavy lift business, not affected a lot, uh, not affected at all. I would say uh, most of the shipping lines or break bulk operators or rural operators has found a good solution to uh, new routes directly to coming to Qatar. Now, most of the vessels coming from India, Singapore, China, Turkey is directly calling Qatar port. So it is not coming via Jebel Ali Dubai, which earlier used to be the case. So that's working. This being flexible, finding alternatives is is working for. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Now, is there any end in sight to this blockade? I'm not a right person to answer on this, but we hope, uh, you know, this uh, this should end soon. And you know, we all should work together in a heavy lift and brake pulp together to focus on the core business. Absolutely. All right, so you've got, you've got that as a challenge, but you've got um, the uh, football as a huge, has been a huge opportunity, right? Absolutely, and since last year or you know, for last five years, uh, the, the projects which Qatar has planned is going exactly as per the planning, as per the deadline. So you know the tunneling and everything is done and the metro project is also almost uh, finishing. We are expecting metro to start soon this year as well as next year and two different lines. So we are quite positive. And of course, stadium projects are perfectly going in uh, proper planning way. Well, that's fantastic. And it seems like, you know, even once this um, tournament is over all of the construction, all of the infrastructure improvements uh, will have a huge impact on the future of Qatar. Yes, of course, uh, because of uh, FIFA World Cup as well as Qatar's vision for 2030, a lot of infrastructures are in plan and is going on. So, of course, it will give a very positive impact to the country. And of course, after FIFA World Cup, also, you know, uh, Qatar has a good vision for 2030. So, and as you know, Qatar is a LNG natural gas exporter and, you know, second biggest uh, country in the world to export this type of uh, LNGs and natural gas. So, of course, Qatar has a really good future and we expect oil and gas after this uh, changes, recent changes in the dollar, uh, the oil values and all, uh, we expect a good uh, business for Qatar. Well, that sounds like good news from you, and we appreciate you sharing that update on Qatar and your business. Thank you very much. Okay. Appreciate, appreciate your time.